Good morning, Facebook. This is Alan Butler with Butler Contracting. And today I wanted to talk to you about a common issue that we see out here in the field in the world of roofing. Now, I get called from time to time about various water leaks or some kind of roofing issue or problem. And a lot of times I see a very common issue. And that issue today is putting shingles on a flat surfaced roof. This is a big no-no. We should not do this. Uh, it is against building code. It is against manufacturer specifications. That shingle should not be put on anything that has less than a two pitch. So if a roofing contractor or some other contractor uh, wants to put a roof on, they should be using a rolled style roofing or some other type of TPO membrane. There's different applications of different products um, for situations like this. But uh, just putting a standard shingle on is going to create some issues for you down the road. And uh, I get this a lot when I get folks that want to put patio overhangs on. They like to use metal, a metal roof. They might want to put shingles on it. You know, they want to build the roof right up to the uh, fascia board of the house and tie into an existing roof. All those things are bad ideas, especially if you're on a pier and beam home and things are moving around pretty frequently. Um, you're going to have wind driven rain. You're going to have flex flexing in the structure. Um, that overhang or that patio or that deck structure is going to move independently versus the house. And you're going to have two things going on with the unstable soils we have here in central Texas. So I just want to kind of talk about that and uh, run through why that's not a good idea and the reasons behind it. Um, they have some leaking inside their front door that's related to this matter from wind driven rain. Due to it being shingles on a flat surface roof and uh, really unfortunately for them there's not a good easy fix for this I mean, you're going to have to tear it up and redo it and to redo it by code and per manufacturer recommendations means that we have to tear at least half of the roof off if not most of the roof just to fix this one little issue that they have um, there's not a lot of other options for them and that's really unfortunate for the homeowner so i just want to educate you and let you know why it's not a good idea to do that or allow someone to come over and, and do that for you. Um, if you do get into a situation where you want to get a project done or you have a situation like this, please give us a call at 8446-BUTLER, 8446-BUTLER, or you can submit a project request on our website at butler.contractors. And we look forward to seeing you on your next project. Thank you. Have a great day.